Hey guys, JT here, back with another video. Now a couple of videos ago we talked about how we replaced our existing Solar Edge inverter with this new Solar Edge Home Hub inverter. Now what's the difference between the two? Well the major difference is the Home Hub inverters support something called Island Mode. This effectively allows you to use your solar system when you're off grid. Now this could be when the power goes out momentarily or a much longer term power outage. With a standard inverter it means that your system shuts down because you don't want the power generated by your solar panels or from your batteries to be flowing back into the grid, potentially causing harm to somebody who might be working on it. With a home hub inverter you have another piece of hardware that sits outside called the backup interface. The backup in interface is a contact switcher once the power goes out, it physically disconnects the grid from the system to allow the batteries or the solar panels to continue to flow power into the house without any danger of it going down the wires into the grid. For this to happen, I say you, you need this extra piece of hardware, so let's jump outside and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so here's the other part of the solution. This is our electricity cupboard. This is where the main supply comes in from the grid. Um, this is our gas. These two here are external switch units. Um, this one supports my office. This one here is the main 60 amp breaker that allows the solar system to come in, comes into this, and then feed into the house. So this is a way of isolating that entire solar system from the rest of the house should we need to. But this box here, this is the Solar Edge backup gateway. This is the, the magic, if you like, that allows it to operate off grid. Basically what happens is the electricity supply that comes in from the grid is run through this box before it goes into the house. It's also connected to the supply from the inverter. And in here is nothing more than just a big contactor switch. So when the grid goes down, this box will sense it and it will cut off the grid completely. Once it's cut off the grid, it will send a signal back to the inverter to tell it to continue to supply. And the power will then flow in through here and into the house. This stops any electricity being fed back into the grid should there be an engineer working on the system and they need to take the grid down for any reason. So this allows us to operate even if there's a power cut and there's no power in the neighbourhood for as long as we've got power in the batteries or as long as the solar panels can supply it. The one thing that this does need if you're going to install something like this is you need to think about where you're going to put your earth. Because normally you rely upon the earth that's connected or coming in from your grid connection. Well in this case we've got a little pit here in the floor um, and this is an earth rod that's been driven into the ground and as you can see we had to make a hole in the, uh, in the block paving for that. So you do need to have a uh, separate earth that means that once you're in isolation mode that you've still got somewhere for safety. So other than that, this box requires no input. It will switch over automatically. It won't give you a UPS. You will not get uninterrupted power. It will take some portion of a second to actually switch over. It's very quick, but things like computers, um, your Wi-Fi router, things like that might actually go off or reboot as part of the process. But other than that, it's really simple. As like I say, there's very little to operate. There's some status lights on the front. If it changes, if it does go into island mode or, it, or the grid comes back, you do get a notification in the Solar Edge app to tell you that's happened. And about once a month, I do test it just by going into my cupboard here, um, flicking the, the whole house isolation breaker, which cuts everything off from the grid, just to make sure that this is working so that we're confident that in an emergency, we'll have plenty of power. So that's how the home backup interface works. It's really simple, requires no input from the user. It will automatically sense when the grid goes down and it will fail over to allow you to continue to run everything you need to in your house from your batteries or from your solar panels. If you have a solar edge system and you don't have a home hub inverter and you do want to upgrade to this, do talk to your uh, reseller because I believe there are some incentives that solar edge are offering to do upgrades, but you'll need to talk to your, uh, your installer to find out about that. I hope you found this useful. If you have, hopefully, I'll see you here for the next one. Bye-bye.